How's it punters? Welcome back to Best Sports Betting. And in this video, I'm going to be running through some of the popular soccer betting markets at Betway, some of the live in-play soccer markets, just so that you guys have a better idea of what you're actually betting on. I'm going to be explaining some of these markets, what they mean, and what they mean for your bets. So I've got a live game loaded up here. Now a live game is a game that is taking place when you're betting, so they are actually playing. It's also known as an in-play game. And there are a few bets in the in-play section that you will not find in a pre-match section. So first I'm gonna run through some of these live bets. I'm gonna be using this Mongolia match that's going on at the moment. It's currently nil-nil. And I'm gonna run through some of the popular ones. So match result is who's gonna win the match. You have three options. You have home, draw, away. You have both teams to score, that means is they're going to be a goal from both sides. So if the score is 1-1, one, 2-1, one, one, if either scores, or if either side rather scores a goal, then a both teams to score will be yes. And if you think only one team will score or no teams will score, then you can say no. So for yes, both teams to score and for no, one team needs to score or no teams will score. Our next market is double chance. Now, double chance means that you are taking two selections from a match result. You're betting on the home team to win or draw, or you're betting on the away team to win or draw, or you're betting on the home team or the away team to win. So those are your different options for double chance. It basically covers two out of the three possible outcomes, and the odds are going to be reduced when betting this market because of the draw and the win, or the two wins. Then we have draw no bet. Now draw no bet means if the game results in a draw, you will get your stake back. So if we were to bet on Athletic 220 and we would get 1.3, but if that match ends in a draw, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, etc., then we will get our stake back. We'll get our entire stake back. So if we bet 50 Rand, and it ends in draw, we get our 50 Rand back. We don't get any winnings, just our stake. However, if the bet wins, then we will get our winnings and we will get our stake back. Then we have over under 1.5. So overs are quite easy to remember. Any goals above 1.5, your bet's going to win. So if you see the match is now 2-0, then an over 1.5 bet would win. For under 1.5 bet to win, the number needs to be under 1.5, which for this example would be 0, 0 or 1, 0 or 0, 1. And those are the different results that would settle as a win for under 1.5. Over under 2.5 is the same thing, it just has a different number. So for under 2.5, you need two goals or less. For over 2.5, you need three goals or more. Then we have over under 3.5, which is the same thing, except the number's been moved up to 3.5 now. Uh, the next bet option is next goal so this means who is going to score the next goal in the match so if Darren score the next goal then that bet will be settled as a win if Athletic score the next goal then that will be settled as a win if no one scores then this none will be the correct choice now this does pop up a few times during the match so let's say the score is 1-0 to Darren now the next goal is the goal after you have placed your bet. So if it's 1-0 to Darren and you say Athletic are gonna score the next goal, then if they score the next goal to bring the score to 2-2, two -two, or sorry, 1-1 one -one rather, then your bet will be a winner. Now this is a very complicated one. Who wins the rest of the match? Now lots of punters get confused with this market. This market is who is going to win the rest of the match from when you place your bet. It only counts from when your bet is running. So, for example, let's say Athletic 220 are winning the game 2-0. 60 minutes are gone. There's 30 minutes left in the match and you see who will win the rest of the match and you say, hey, Athletic, I'm getting 1.9 or 2.5. Those are great odds. They're already winning 2-0. Now, if you place the bet there and the match ends 2-0, your bet will lose. They need to win the rest of the match from whenever you place your bet. So from our 2-0 example, for that bet to win, Athletic will have to win that 30-minute period from when your bet was placed or from whenever your bet was placed. 
So if the score ends 2-0, it's going to be a loss. If the score ends 2-1, it's going to be a loss. And if it's going to be a draw, that means there's going to be no goals scored or the amount of goals scored in the remaining time is going to be the same, which could be, could be one goal from each side. It could be two goals from each side or it could be no goals from each side, for example. Now, you really need to be careful with this market, guys. Uh, and I'm going to say it for a third time. It's about who wins the rest of the match from when you place your bet. So if the score is 0-0, zero, zero, at 45 minutes and uh, let's say Darren come in the second half and they score an early goal it becomes 1-0 to Darren and you think hey they're winning you need to check the odds the odds are not about what the current score is it's about the rest of the match so basically the score is being reset to zero for the rest of the match now you'll see really good odds and what happens to a lot of punters is they see these great odds and they're like wow this team's already winning I'm getting great odds on them to win. They're 3-0 up or 4-0 up. This is easy money. They place a bet on the team that's up and then the bet is settled as a loss. They cry, they complain, but that is because they don't understand the market. Here's a little explanation. Which team wins the remainder of the match means you can bet on a home win, draw or an away win for the away team. Any goals scored before placing this bet will not be considered for your selected outcome. So be very careful with this one, guys. Then the last one is the handicap bet. Now, a handicap bet is to even out the betting odds. It's something that the bookmakers do to give the punters a bit of value, but there is some risk attached to it. So over here, we have handicap a minus 0.5. So for this handicap to win, you're going to need to subtract 0.5 from the final score. So if Athletic win 1-0, you subtract the 0.5 you're left with 0.5 so athletic will have 0.5 darren will have zero 0.5 is higher than zero that one's going to win it's the same with minus one and a half uh, you're going to need to have your team win by two goals or more two and a half your team needs to win by three goals or more etc etc now for the plus you apply the same rule if your team has for an example a one nil they're down 1-0 and you bet plus one and a half and the match ends 1-0 then your bet will win because you add the plus one and a half to the team that you're taking the handicap bet on and you apply that to the final score so another example would be darren plus two and a half uh, darren lose the game 3-1 but the plus two and a half bet will win because we add the plus two and a half to the one goal that they've already scored which brings them up to 3.5. And then we compare that to the score from Athletic, which was three. And the 3.5 is going to be higher than three. So that bet is going to win. So these are some of the common popular in-play markets. I've only covered the popular ones for now, the ones that most punters are using. And I think in my next video, I'm going to be covering a few more of the pre-match soccer bets. But uh, I hope this video was informative. I hope you guys learned something new about some of the different soccer betting markets at Betway. If you guys need any more help, you can simply go into the market and use these eye icons. It's information. They explain each of these markets like I've just done on the site themselves if you do need further explanation on how the markets work. Guys, thanks for tuning to this video. I hope you learned something new and I will catch you in the next one. Have a good one, guys. Cheers.